Hi, this is Suma Rauji of Cakes and More. I make videos for beginners in baking. If you are new to baking, you may find my videos helpful. It's very easy to bake your own cakes, cookies, pizzas and breads at home. We can make them easily at home using the best quality ingredients and without harmful chemicals and preservatives. Since it is Christmas soon, I'm baking some uh, really easy fruit cake using organic curd and organic butter from Akshay Kalpa. Akshay Kalpa is the first organic milk brand in India. They help farmers produce safe and wholesome milk and they have a wide range of products such as milk, curd, ghee, cheese, paneer, etc. Please do check their website for more information. You can find the link in the description box below the video. So now coming back to the recipe, it's a very simple one, but if you are a beginner, please pay attention to the details as it makes a lot of difference. Please weigh and measure ingredients for best results always. Line up the ingredients on the counter before you begin mixing the batter. The oven is preheated to 180 degrees centigrade. I have lined this 8 inch square tin with baking parchment. You could line the sides with parchment if you wish, but I like the sides golden brown and crusty, so I have simply used baking spray. There is maida, some ground almonds. I am using some very good quality ready-made ground almonds here. There's some baking powder, baking soda and a pinch of salt. We need some powdered sugar, some set curd from Akshay Kalpa. There's some orange juice, this is optional. Akshay Kalpa unsalted butter which I have melted. Pure vanilla extract, zest of one fresh orange. This gives a really good aroma to the cake. Free range eggs. We'll be using these dry fruits and nuts and you can use any favorite combination. I'm using some chopped cranberries for the pop of red in the cake, some toasted and chopped cashew nuts, some homemade candied orange peel. Making candied peel at home is very easy and it tastes great. Sift together the maida, baking powder, baking soda and salt. We need to sift this twice. Sifting helps distribute the baking powder and soda evenly in the flour. Take the sifted mixture in a bowl and whisk in the ground almonds. If grinding almonds at home, make sure the powder is not oily. The ground almonds add taste and nutrition both. Take the set curd, the powdered sugar, vanilla extract and the orange juice if using it. Whisk it to combine. Grate in the orange zest. Whisk in the eggs one by one. Whisk in the flour mixture. Be very gentle. If you mix vigorously, the cake may be hard. It's okay if you see a bit of flour here and there at this point, as we still have some more mixing to do. Whisk in the melted butter. Remember to be gentle again. Finally, the dry fruits and nuts. Fold them in gently. A good silicone spatula works best here. Our batter is now ready. Transfer the batter to the prepared tin and smooth the top. And some cranberries on top. Bake for about 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. The baking time may vary depending on your oven. Place the cake on a cooling rack. Wait for about 10 minutes. Run a plastic knife around the cake and invert it on the cooling rack. Reinvert and cool completely. Slice and serve. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back soon with more videos. Stay tuned.